Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we get down and dirty with all of your household news of gossip entertainment, celebrity entertainment, and we just want to break bread together and just have a little banter. Okay, that's my channel. That's where you came. So make sure you subscribe to me. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and share my videos. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me and like my videos. Okay, I wear on you after a while. I'll keep coming on to the tube. You know, you know, you know, you know. Okay, guess what, guys? On my way home, riding home, I get a text message. From none other than Celebrity Insider. But it wasn't my girl, Kirsten Willis, who I always get down with for all the news in the celebrity news world. Okay? I'm here to give you the who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how. How that this person get to this point and try to fool everybody. Okay? I'm talking about none other than Kenya Moore. Okay? Like my title read contractual agreement dissolved or ended. However you want to say it, however you want to put it, that's the way I see it. Okay? They selected their sales. Kenya wrote the play. She starred in the play. And she propositioned a person for the play. She got everything she wanted. And then the contract had to come to an end. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, in the near future, you're going to probably see a lot of stories. Mark did this, Mark did that, and all of them pretty much are going to be lies. Instead of Kenya coming out, just saying, look, being a bigger person, and just say, look, I just want to have a baby. I'm going to uh, go and get an artificially inseminated with my choice, my choosing of whatever sperm I want to get impregnated with, and that's what I'm going to do. I want a baby. I can support a baby. And I can raise a baby by myself. I'm not going to get into, you know, rushing into a marriage, a, a loveless marriage, and find myself getting divorced down the road. She could have saved herself a whole lot of heartache and been woman enough to just do that, stand at home, shit, and go on. Because I ain't got nothing but props for her. You going to come out and make a plan of action like that and hold it down? Girl, you got my support. Hell, I even babysit for you, okay? Because I know you wanted a baby. Marriage. Comes and go, okay? Most of the time when you get in a marriage, you're in it for the thickness of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the sickness, the poor, all of that. You just don't give up after two years of marriage unless we're talking about domestic abuse or something to that effect. Then, yeah, it can end in 20 days, okay? 20, 30, 40 days or, or minutes, okay? But we don't need nobody to be getting beat down, okay? For the sake of they love that person. No. Okay, another whole video, another whole trying to fall. But yes, child, how you say I was standing out there in the middle of the street on the sidewalk, whatever, and lo, and I heard that news come across my feed and celebrity inside was just giving it to me. I fell back in the bushes. I showed it. I fell in the near parts of the bushes. Because I'm like, okay, I was expecting this. I was expecting this before the year was out. Because see, those who had eyes to see and ears to hear, she had already gave y'all a forewarning. I know y'all didn't catch it. Most of y'all, you know, y'all be on that bandwagon and listening to everything. Can you probably trying to tell you under the sun to make herself look good and try to make somebody else look bad? Because I'm telling you, that's the story that's going to be played. She's going to try to make like maybe uh, Mark had an affair or something else was going on. And she's going to make herself look good instead of her copying her own crap. Saying, hey, it is what it is, or it was what it was, but we ain't together no more, okay? Now, trust and believe, it's going to come with she going to be smelling like a rose, and Mark going to be put out the pasture like he did everything so wrong. But, if you go back, you go way on back, there was a time when Kenya, and I made a video about it, was expressing that she was tired of raising her child by herself, okay? She leaked that out prematurely okay she was setting the tone for y'all already those who knew there was trouble on the horizon but i already knew when she called herself rushing a marriage that that was nothing but a contractual agreement she had found somebody that was going to play the part of the play she wrote out and it was going to go into fruition now i think she probably wanted to carry it a little longer and a brother man was like, uh-uh, we only said this amount of time, this amount of time has expired, I want my life back, okay? 
I fulfill all of my agreements or a part I was supposed to play. Now I want my life back. Okay, people get married, people get divorced every day. And that's his train of thought. If he was probably, you know, allegedly having, okay. And she probably was like, okay, this joke is not going to give me no more than what he had contractually said he was going to do. Okay, I got to honor my agreement. Okay, just give me some time to me think this thing through. Yeah. And so that's how I think it pretty much played out. Okay. Now she wants us to pretty much feel sorry for her. And of course, as y'all know, that boat has sailed and it's out there in the abyss somewhere. Okay. Because now I want Kenya to stand up in her own shit, become the woman we all know she can be, raise her daughter, and keep it moving. Okay. We don't want to have a pity party for her. We grieve if you must for Kenya. Go ahead, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right. But keep in mind that this so-called marriage happened so quickly. Then not even a year later, she come up pregnant. Then now we get we dealing with a divorce. That's just too much. And it's too much coincidence. It's just like all of it's not adding up. But I'm not even here nor there on that situation. Okay. All thing I'm saying, I don't want to see no tears. That's dragging out for months and months and months. No. Mm -mm. When most women smell stuff ain't right in the milk, they clean it up. Okay. They either going to say this, 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 and this is going to happen or I'm bouncing. Or, you know, us OGs, we're like, we don't took enough. We, we don't did enough of the foolishness, the fuckery, and we're, we're out. We're pretty much out. Okay. We're going to uh, leave amicably. Or we can make it hard for you. However it may go, whoever did their infringement or infraction, you know, th that's where you're going to uh, pay for it or whatnot. But like I said, most marriages, when you get to that deep in a situation, we're talking about at least five plus years. Because when you were two years, you're still newlyweds, believe it or not. It ain't like, okay, I'm bouncing, I'm out. Who do that? But the millennials. And then now millennials, they ain't even trying to attempt to get married. They want to live together. You know what I'm saying? They cool with that. And they could probably be together like that for a good 10 years. And then when you're talking about embarking on marriage, they might get cold feet and run away. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. That's just how it is. But Kenya was trying to tell y'all. But y'all was so into the midst of, oh no, um, save your marriage. Uh, go get counseling. Uh, no, no. It was a contract that had to end. You know how you freelance yourself out on your job? You um, Sometimes you can extend the contract depending on if it's good for you or if it's good for the other party that's needing the work. Or you could call it quits. Once the two, three year contract has dissolved itself, we don't need to. I played my part. You played your part. And we're mutually amicably letting each other go. No foul on the plate. It just is what it is. But like I said, I can you try to warn y'all? But you didn't listen. You didn't listen for the signs, okay? You didn't look for the signs. You just fell into the dream that she gave you all. A vision of loveliness. And it wasn't even about that. So I say, can you really warn out the whole situation? She got a chance to be with a beautiful, handsome man. Made a baby with her. And now she got what she really wanted. She always wanted to have a child. She always wanted to be married. So, hey, she experienced both of them at the same time. It just is what it is. All right? But in my video, you will see a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures that I'm showing of Kenya and her husband. Okay? And y'all tell me, after y'all keep looking at it over and over and over again... What does those pictures lack? And then at the end of my video, I'm going to let you know what it lacked. And then it may have a ring something in your heads or, you know, your hearts. And be like, well, damn, I ain't look at it like that. Okay. But anyway, let's go on into this story that my celebrity insider brought out. Okay. And the uh, journalist was De what, Dylan Fisher. Yes, he brought this story out amazed. I know it shocked everybody because I know it shocked the hell out of me. I ain't going to lie. I'm the first people I thought about were my Sheila and my Val and my Infinity 13. Yes, I did. And then I, you know, I thought about some of my haters that's been on my ass. Okay, been on my ass. Like it ain't like I'm growing grass back there or something. They just want to mow it, mow it, mow it. But anyway, that is what it is. I give everybody to have their opinions, speak their minds. 
And then let's move on because we got more territory to uh, grow and, 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 and express our opinions on. Because Kenya is a true warrior. Trust and believe. She's going to come up with some more headline stories for us. But hopefully she's grown from this incident and she can somewhat think before she attacks people. You see what I'm saying? She has to have some maturity of growth of what she don't went through to be able to show us better lightning, better footing of what she has gone through. Okay? And being blessed at the same time. All right? Because Kenya definitely won both times in this scenario. She got a husband. She lost a husband. She got a baby girl. She will ever forever love that baby girl. Okay? But anyway, the article goes in to say, as a headliner, Kenya Moore explains why she is divorcing Mark Daly after two years of marriage. Real Housewives of Atlanta's fans are shocked. Nope, I'm not shocked. I was just waiting when she was going to drop the bomb. And I really think it's a lot of secrets going on with Mark Daly that he don't want to expose. And maybe somebody got a hold of something. And they told him if he don't end this farce, they're going to bring it out. They're going to bring it out. He was like, mm -mm, no way. Now, that's the other thing I was thinking about. But I'm going to go with my first thought, which is he, uh, he went into an obligational uh, agreement, a contractual agreement with Kenya. And he played his part. And now he wanted out. And it's cool. I mean, he did his role. He did his thing. And he should. Don't be in something that ain't really true. I'm just saying. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Kenya Moore has shocked many by announcing her divorce from Mark Daly after two years of marriage. Both Kenya and Mark issued statements <laughs> explaining that they plan to be loving parents to baby Brooklyn Daly. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star wed the business, businessman in June of 2017 in a private ceremony on a St. Lucia beach with no cameras around. The former couple has asked for privacy at this time. Now, I'm going to throw flag on play. We're going to stop the whole game because, no, you can't have privacy, can you, when you expose everything to us, okay? You exposed us this wedding that took place with some family members gathered, I'm being told, okay, by my commenters, okay, that I need to fact check because I got my shit wrong and she did have family there. Okay, her favorite aunt. Give it, take it good. But even her favorite aunt is not going to rat, rat her out, even though she may know it was a fictitious thing, too. She ain't going to come out with it. I wouldn't come out with it, okay? Let her live her life, do it, because you know everything that's done in the dark is going to come to the light sooner or later, okay? So, um, basically, I was like, okay, Kenya. No, we're not going with the Privacy Act. No, we're not going to. Because you know what? If you wanted everything private, it would have stayed private. You wouldn't have come back to a Real Housewives of Atlanta. You would just been living your life, your best life with your husband, your daughter, and going into another whole different realm. I mean, you have skills. You got skills. You got talents. You could have been producing shows or something to that effect. But can you? No. Can you like to be in front of center? She likes to be the star of everything. So that's when things start to, uh, what do you call it, drift apart, start tearing down. Okay, so we go back to the article. It says, Kenya said, it is with profound sadness that I regret to inform my fans that I am divorcing my husband, Mark Daly, due to recent and ongoing circumstances. I can no longer continue in the marriage. My sole concern and focus is and will always be my daughter, Brooklyn, my miracle baby. She was made in love and true commitment. I ask for our privacy to be respected moving forward. Uh, not so much, Kenya. Not so much. File on play again. You can't be out there in social media putting all your business out there, picking and choosing when you want to release the information, and then you want to drop a bombshell on social media once again, explaining, but not truly explaining anything. You're just saying you want privacy. Really? The hypocrisy is still following you close behind, Kenya, if not slapping you all up in your face. Okay, but moving on from there, it said, Mark explained, I have come to the difficult decision to separate from Kenya at this time. Our daughter has two parents that love her very much, and in her best interest, this situation should remain as private as possible. 
I cherish our family good times together and will continue to co-parent in a loving way. Okay, file on play with Mark. How you want to cherish something that it just seemed like yesterday? You only had two years of marriage. You still should be in the newlywed phase. If anything, separate to get back together. Take some time off. Separate. You know, you can do that. You don't have to divorce. That's what leads me to. It was a contractual agreement. Things were said, written down on paper. Once that time expired, it was time to everybody go back to their regular lives. Okay? This was a play being played out. Once the finale came, curtains closed, case closed. All right? So, uh, yeah. Then we go back to Mark's thing. He says, rumors, innuendos, or false accusations only serve to hurt our family and will be addressed through counsel as the law permits. Please respect our privacy during this challenging period. Now, again, my whole thing is you put everything out there on social media, then you want to pick and choose what a person can and cannot talk about. Have you heard of freedom of speech, Mark? Have you heard of freedom of speech? Like I said, Everything that you do, you say, you put it out there for the public, it is going to come back. Now, whether or not you and Kenya, you know, divorce, okay, it's cool, it's fine. But don't go out there and be all uh, in the public. You were just on Tamara Hall show saying this, that, and the third. Y'all were happy. Oh, y'all were so in love. Y'all glad y'all got y'all family. I mean, was this recorded like four, five, six months ago? And it's just coming out to where we're viewing it. I'm like, whoa, okay. But there's no sense of throwing threats out there to people because people are going to talk. Kenya is a very big, influential person out there in reality TV. She likes to be seen. Questions are going to be asked, okay? We don't have to get into the ins and outs of what broke y'all up. We just know y'all broke up, okay? And you should just really keep it like that. You married into entertainment. You said you didn't want to be involved with it. We took it for just that. You didn't want to be involved with it. Then you come back, you want to be involved with it to a certain degree. Well, with the entertainment life, you can't play it like that. Especially not with Bravo, because they're going to show it. Good, bad, ugly. They're going to show it. But anyway, moving from there, it said, um, one friend had this reaction to the news. This not news. We knew this before it happened. While it was happening, and now it's confirmed. She got what she wanted out of it. Hey, baby. Not all bad, if you ask me. Woo, housewives is going to be good this season. See what I'm saying? That's how most people are really looking at it, Mark. They don't really care about whether you and Kenya broke up, stayed together, whatever. They just wanted to see what kind of drama Bravo was going to make y'all bring to the forefront. And maybe you could not stand it. And you didn't want to put your life on blast like that. And I applaud you for it. I really do. Okay? Because it can destroy marriages and people all in the same. You watched it. You, or you should have watched it or seen it. And you could see some marriages did get broken up from it. I don't know if they were solid marriages to begin with. But, hey, it happens. So good for you. Good for you. Just parent, co-parent as nicely as you can, okay? And then we go on where another commenter stated, what is the point of getting married these days if you can't work through it? This is why I'm so scared to get married and have a child. This generation is just all about divorce. Why is the divorce rate so high? Well, let me tell you, speaking of experience, okay, people change, people grow and they don't take their vows seriously. If it's domestic or violence, yes, get out. Get out. Don't even look back. Okay, keep it moving. Get out, get safe, and be well. But if it's just <sighs> egos getting in the way, one person making more money than the other, one person's not feeling like they felt when they first got married or in the relationship period, you no know, things change. People grow every, you know, six months, every year. It just takes time and change and development and continue building on the foundation if one person don't like it don't agree it's not getting with the program you're gonna have a house that's divided and as we know division brings chaos chaos brings separation and it, it just it, it, it just it's nothing gonna be had of it it's gonna be zero so 
I'm with you. Why play in the playground? Solidify everything if you don't want to make it work. I mean, like me, two years of marriage, that's that that they never see you still in the house, uh, the newlywed stage. You should be thinking about getting no no divorce. Are you kidding me? But like I said, this is what it is. You know, people don't take vows seriously no more. It seems like you have to pay to get out of a, a divorce, some fines, you know, like two or five, two to five hundred dollars. Or maybe two to five thousand dollars if you want to divorce this person. It don't matter what it is, why it's happening, but you got to pay to get out, just like you got to pay to get in, you know. But and maybe you know some things should happen like that to convince people not to get a divorce, work it out, you know. But then you got all these open marriages out there, and then you got people that be like, you know, I can do better without you. Well, you should have thought about that before you said you want to marry the person. I mean, was you drunk when you got married? Did you go to Las Vegas? Did you have the time and you just to the wind. I mean, what was it? Did you get a prenup before? If you, you know, in that kind of money realm where you didn't want people to take what you got or you see them being more thirsty than what they were before you married them. I mean, these are things you have to ask your, um, y'all almost got to be like a private investigator with the people you're marrying and understand why you're asking these questions and why you're doing this background research. Okay. So you won't have to be in that. It's not like the old days where people stayed together. Then you got men and women feeling like, you know, they can go have affairs and they can be uh, be forgiven and then they go out and repeat the same infraction. And it just, it's just messed up on both parts. So it's more so, are we willing to be with that person to death do, our, do us part naturally through sickness and health? You know, what wh what are you doing? You know, what are we doing here? Do we want to be together or do we want to be committed together? That's what we should be asking one another before we get so enticed and mesmerized of the ideal of being married. Because it ain't all, all cookies and ice cream, okay? There's some uh, sourdough bread in there sometime too without meat. But anyway, that was my spiel getting back to why people are making these comments. Okay, a third comment a supporter wrote, wow, I don't I don't like Kenyon, but I definitely didn't see this comment. I thought she actually found another dumb actor that was willing to put up with her and her antics. Uh, then another person says, uh, another commenter said, I hate that I'm not more shocked. She really, really wanted a husband and a baby and seemingly would do so by any means. She got her baby out of it, but that's truly disappointing. I thought they would make it. Okay. Then it says, can your mark appear determined to be great parents? Okay. Well, that's all they can be at this point, especially if they're throwing in the tower after two years of marriage. They can't do but be loving parents and co-parent the way that they should. But, you know, enough for me. Y'all don't heard everything from me. And like I said, what I was going to tell y'all about the pictures that I did put together in this uh, collage, what I see that's very apparent to the person who's like-minded, minded like myself, you see no love in these pictures. You see stage poses because he hardly ever smiles. And the man has a beautiful, gorgeous, charming smile that anybody would fall in love with because he's done it in certain um, poses when they filmed him or when they, photo you know, a photographer snapped a snapshot or picture of them and it just went viral. The man got a beautiful mouth, beautiful set of teeth. Why he don't show more of that? So to me, the whole play that she had wrote out for the masses to buy and partake of, she sold it. But to a lot of people, she didn't sell it. We saw what it was from the beginning. It was a hoax. But the whole pictures that I was trying to show y'all, he does not really smile. He gives you a smirk or an intelligent, like half, what do you call it, smicing uh, in the modeling world. But he really don't give you no real uh, authentic love that he has for this woman. There's the body language he's given. It's like, okay, I'm posing with my sister. I'm posing with my best girl. And she could just be my uh, girlfriend and, you know, just name alone, not that we actually are together as a couple. Or, you know, I, I'm posing with a colleague or I'm posing with my sister. Because they, they, they could be brothers and sisters, really. And the poses that they were taking, those are loving pictures of someone you would take with a family member. You know what I'm saying? That type of love, but the romantic love that she was trying to sell, mm -mm, no, not one bit. Okay, but like I said, Kenya's an actress. She's true to form. 
Sometimes I even think that she even know herself. But that's another video. That's another time. Uh, we need to grieve for Kenya. Please grieve. But just know this lady is, she's, <laughs> she has a, 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 a way of, what can I say? I'm, I'm lost for words. But the lady is very amazing. She wears many hats. She wears many faces. So we could truly not know Kenya more because she's not allowing us to know her. Okay, but that's all I have for this video. I'm sure y'all are going to get in there and make comments. And it, you freely can. You freely can. But don't get all crazy with it, okay? Just state your opinion and keep it moving. You know, we don't have to go back and forth. We don't have to have banter. Because I want Kenya to win. And now she definitely have uh, called herself in marriage. She has a beautiful baby girl. Now we can see what else Kenya can do. But I don't want her to go up there bashing her colleagues and Start cussing and carrying on and giving us all that negativity. Give me somewhere where you have grown. Give me growth. Give me motherhood. Okay? Give me like I'm doing this stuff for my daughter and our legacy. Okay? Because you're going to find another man. And hopefully it's one that you can truly call a husband. And he shows it with how he holds you, how he handles you, how he wants to be, you know, in whatever you're in. That type of love, cause you know, um, I, I'm just uh, I'm through with this video, cause it's just, it's too much I can say that I don't want to say, because I am, you know, feeling her, you know, the hurt that she could experience if it was true, you know, what I'm saying if it was a true to form match. But like I said, y'all know how I felt about it from the beginning. Nothing really changed. Uh, I'm just I just hate that. Uh, she had to go with such a lie for so long. Instead of her being just true to form, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting pregnant. I'm gonna have this baby. I'm gonna rock this baby. It's gonna be me and her against the world. I got her as long as I live on this earth, and then I'm gonna make sure she's well cared for after I leave this earth. You know that type of uh, woman I was expecting. But you know she wanted to give us this. I played along as much as I could, but I'm glad they both had a life that may they live it, enjoy it. And, and be grateful for it because it's just too much, too much. But y'all get in them comments, y'all tell me what y'all thought about my thoughts. I'm sure you will anyway. Uh, tell me what y'all thought about the whole situation at large. And let's get in there and have some real dialogue. Not no cat biting and cat fighting, some real dialogue. Let's come up with some interesting concepts of what could have happened. Okay. And maybe she saw it for what it's worth. You know, whatever y'all think. Because y'all, like I said, y'all know how I thought about it. So I want to know what y'all think about it. Without tearing me up. Just tell me what you think. Okay? Not what you think, what I said. Okay? But what you think about the situation. Okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Be blessed. Good night.